Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to fake a VHS look in Premiere Pro. So firstly, you're going to need to get yourself a clip. I've gone for this one as I think the straight lines are going to make the effect of chromatic aberration pop brilliantly. So you're going to need to come down to your clip and you're going to need to duplicate it three times. Now you can right click and just click duplicate or you can hold option if you're on a Mac and just drag the clips up. I messed up a few times there, but hey, let's just ignore that. So we're going to come down to the effects panel and search for an effect called arithmetic. And we're going to add this to all of the three duplicated layers like so. Now come up to the very top layer and then on the effects modes here, on the arithmetic effect, we're going to change the operator to max and then all the way, change the red value all the way to the maximum too. Now this is important, the blend mode needs to be changed to linear dodge. Now on the second clip, we're going to do the same but to the green value. We're going to change it to max, put the value to max and then the blend mode also needs to be linear dodge. Oops, I messed up there linear dodge. Now on the very last layer we're going to be making it max again. Then the blue value is going to go all the way up and importantly this time do not change the blend mode. Okay so now to get the chromatic aberration look we're going to come to the very top red layer and change the scale. I would recommend not going more than 103 but I think 101 does the job perfectly. If you look you have to red and blue chromatic aberration looks here that you'll see on shitty camera lenses and on old VHS Super 8 cameras you'll get this effect too but it's mostly on VHS so that's why we're adding it here. Now to organize your timeline up a bit I'd recommend making this into a nest layer so select the clips and nest it. It'll just make it a lot simpler and your timeline a lot cleaner. Now just like my Super 8 video we're going to be adding some other effects to make it look more authentic. So I would recommend making an adjustment layer. Um, call me, you're gonna need to, I always recommend naming this, so I'm gonna name this one FX for effects, or you can name it EFX, spelt properly, or however you would like. Now just drag this to the full length of the clip like so. And now, the first stuff I'm gonna add, I'm gonna increase the sharpness, and increase it to, I'm going to increase it to around 10%. Now whilst I'm here, I'm going to add a Gaussian blur and set that to three. And another thing I'm going to add is some noise. Just type in noise into the effects, select noise, and you can make, you can change this as much as you want, but I'm going to do it 10%. You can go all the way up to 30, but I would not really go more than 30. But it's up to you if you're trying to make a clip look really bad. Go all the way, go to 100%. That'll look terrible, but you get my point, right? So now we need to do the last, last, very last bit, which is that wave effect that suits, shoots up the screen. Now I've seen other people do this and I think I've found the best way to do this so far. So we're gonna create another adjustment layer like so, I'm going, to, I'm going to name this one Wave. Now I'm going to drag this one above here like so. And for now I'm just going to make it this length because you'll, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do now. So come down to Wave, the effect handle and search for Wave and you're going to want Wave Warp. Add this in like so. Now we're going to change this to Square. We're going to change the Wave type to Square. We're going to change the pinning to All Edges like so. We're going to change the direction to zero and on the wave width increase it as much as you want. You need to go, I need to use my mouse. I'm using a graphics tablet but there's some limitations that I'm trying to work out. I'm going to make this say 600 ish. My computer's not liking this so if you can hear it in the background I'm sorry. It's a fully maxed out MacBook Pro but for some reason this effect it doesn't like it. So I might have to render this in a second. So let's see if it plays. As you see, you can see it going up like so. But I think that's too much. So we need to change the wave speed to 0 0.1 I've gone with. Now this should have slowed it down a lot more. As you can see, it's much slower. I'm going to quickly render this and then show you my little hack that I've come up with to make it look much better.
After quickly rendering the clip, here is what the effect looks like. As you can see, we have the line going up like so, and we have two of them. Now, what I would highly recommend is not just dragging this over the entire clip, as it looks a bit tiring and it gets a bit repetitive and boring. So what I would do is if this, let's just pretend this was a one minute clip. So here's the effect. I'm just gonna lock these two layers like so. Let's pretend this is a long clip. So I would go maybe here and here and have the effect a few times. And that's what I've done on the project that I'm working on. I was doing this repetitive, if you're dragging this out really long as having it going over and over, it does not look good and it gets a bit repetitive. Now keep this layer here all the way along so you have all the other parts of the VHS look, but then just do the wave one ever so every so often and it will make the video look much better than having it constantly going. So if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments below. And thank you for watching this video. I've put my Twitter and Instagram below if you want to ask me any questions at all or just want to check out the work I do. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.